In 1998, the Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird retired after 30 years of service with the U.S. Air Force, leaving behind a legacy of record-breaking flights. Now, Lockheed Martin is on the horizon with the SR-72, often dubbed the son of Blackbird, aiming to push the boundaries even further. Confirmed in 2013, this hypersonic aircraft is scheduled for its first flight in 2025. In this video, we explore the anticipated SR-72, shedding light on its projected capabilities as the fastest aircraft ever. Let's dive right in. Introduced in 1966 as a strategic reconnaissance aircraft, the SR-71 succeeded the Lockheed A-12 with enhancements in size, fuel capacity, and speed. Designed to operate at altitudes and speeds beyond Mach 3, the SR-71 faced operational challenges, leading to a strategic decision to limit its flights to once a week to minimize part loss. Stationed primarily in Okinawa, Japan, it played a pivotal role in significant events such as the Yom Kippur War. Following its retirement by the U.S. Air Force in 1998, NASA maintained its operation until 1999. As of 2023, the SR-71 still holds the world record, set in 1976, as the fastest air-breathing manned aircraft. Today, the aircraft stands as a testament to aerospace history, showcased in museums worldwide. This historical backdrop establishes the groundwork for understanding the anticipated advancements of the proposed SR-72. Following the retirement of the SR-71 Blackbird, the U.S. Air Force identified a crucial gap in its arsenal, emphasizing the need for a high-speed aircraft capable of entering protected airspace to observe targets or execute attacks before the enemy could react. Reports about Lockheed Martin's development of such an aircraft, boasting a proposed speed of at least Mach 6, first surfaced in 2007. However, it wasn't officially confirmed until 2013, through an article by Aviation Week and Space Technology. Since then, details regarding the SR-72's progress and development have been relatively rare, with limited concrete information publicly disclosed. So, let's see what we do know about the SR-72 program. In order to achieve its intended high speed, Lockheed Martin's Advanced Development Programs Department, known as Skunk Works, is reportedly developing an engine capable of withstanding extreme temperatures. Collaborating with Aerojet Rocketdyne, the company is working on a novel concept based on the scrapped scramjet-powered HTV-3X, known as a turbine-based combined cycle system. This entails utilizing a turbine engine at low speeds and transitioning to a scramjet engine at higher speeds. To support the engine's advancement, Lockheed Martin secured a $900,000 contract from NASA. The SR-72 also requires a new type of outer coating to endure the challenging conditions anticipated at an altitude of 80,000 feet, where speeds exceeding Mach 5 could potentially melt conventional metallic airframes. Reports suggested a combination of ceramic, high-performance carbon, and metal is being considered for this purpose. The SR-72 is likely to be an unmanned aircraft. Considerations are also underway for the type of ordnance the aircraft will carry. Envisioned as a strike and intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance platform, the SR-72 is designed not only for target observation, but also for launching attacks. The development of new weapons and sensors, with indications pointing towards the incorporation of Lockheed Martin's high-speed strike weapon, is on the agenda. Beyond these specifics, limited information is available, except for the fact that the SR-72 will share an approximate size with the SR-71 Blackbird and feature a streamlined design. As of January 2024, there is no definitive timeline for the official debut of the SR-72. Although Lockheed Martin targets a potential operational prototype by 2025 and full implementation by 2030, the U.S. Air Force has provided limited information thus far. Recent attention on the SR-72 surged following the release of the 2022 film Top Gun Maverick, where Tom Cruise reprised his role as Pete Maverick Mitchell. The film features an aircraft named the SR-72 Darkstar, reportedly inspired by Lockheed Martin's ongoing SR-72 project. 
The intersection of cinematic representation and real-world innovation adds an intriguing dimension to the unfolding narrative of the SR-72 program. What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. And if you found this video interesting, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to Defense Central for the latest defense news and analyses.